Let's look at the third example of partial differentiation. If h equal to square root of x squared by y squared, that means h is equal to x squared plus y squared with power half. So h depends on x and y. Now if x change, then we know h will also change, so we can find y is dh dx. So dh dx here, in this case, it will differentiate by respect to x of x squared by y squared with the power half. Now using the power rule, we can bring the power half down, then the power minus 1 becomes minus half. But then we cannot stop here because the bracket is not x, it's x squared by y squared. So therefore we apply the chain rule. Differentiate with respect to x, x squared plus y squared. Now as we differentiate x squared by y squared, we know that differentiate x squared you get 2x. Differentiate y squared you get 0 now because when it as we differentiate with respect to x, y is a constant. Therefore, y squared is constant. And you differentiate y squared, it's differentiated constant, you give it 0. So as you simplify, now you get 1 over 2 square root of x squared by y squared times 2x. After the cancellation, I have x over square root of x squared by y squared. Similarly, you can find what is dh dy. It is not necessary to compute all over again because the row of x and y are interchangeable. So you change the x to y and y to x, the expression of h still remains the same. Therefore, by symmetry, you can find that dh dy is just equal to y over square root of x squared by y squared as you interchange x and y.